So this is one of those videos where uh, I'm just going to go through definitions and the video today will focus on types of unemployment. The first type of unemployment is frictional unemployment and it is due to being in between jobs. So for example, we quit a job, we look for another job, the time for the job search is frictional unemployment. Simple as that. The second type of unemployment is structural unemployment and it is due to a mismatch between skills needed and the skills offered. So for example, uh, your uh, you're an accountant, but then uh, things change and you need to update your skills. So right now your skills are outdated and you need new skills to keep up with the technology. So like when computers were int introduced in, uh, into business and uh, your accountant started using computers to do their work, the, account the traditional accountants would uh, have outdated skills and need new skills to keep up with the, with the, with the transformed economy. The last type of un unemployment is silico unemployment. And this is due to the economy slowing down. See, we have our output falling, and that's uh, the economy slowing down. And cyclical unemployment is pretty much uh, it's like boom and bust, and yeah, it's pretty simple in a way. And those are your three types of unemployment. The natural rate of unemployment, or uh, U star, as we symbolize it, is the unemployment rate at uh, equilibrium output. And it is also known as the non-accelerating inflation rate of unemployment, or uh, if we abbreviate it, we call it NIRU. Just a little thing about natural rate of unemployment, though. It's, it, what happens in natural rate of unemployment is that only fictional and structural unemployment can exist in this natural rate of unemployment U, U star. No cyclical can happen because uh, falling output does not exist. We're in equilibrium, so so we don't really have falling output. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is uh, unemployment rate and output, and this is pretty simple. Pretty much, when uh, our output is in is equal to the equilibrium output, then the unemployment rate is equal to the natural rate of unemployment. And this is, this is, uh, let me change colors. This is normal. And when our uh, output is greater than our equilibrium output, then our unemployment rate is less than the natural rate of uh, unemployment. And this is when inflation happens. Makes sense, right? We have more. Uh, output than we do in G equilibrium output, so then we have less people uh, um, uh, that are unemployed and we have inflation. Now, when output is less than the equilibrium uh, output, uh, you know right away that we have uh, we have recession, and in this case, the unemployment rate is greater than the natural rate of unemployment, and this is when we have a recession. And these are really intuitive, and I don't think I'll need to further explain it for you. Uh, I'm sure you can figure it out, and please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will end my video here, and I look forward to seeing you in the next